Man, 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 man. Brothers and sisters, man. It's quite unfortunate uh, as I look at uh, the so-called black race. It's just unfortunate, man. We're just, we're not that complicated of a people, man. And uh, it really pains me when I see black people so-called black people, you know, bending, contorting themselves in order to be like others, to be like other people. You know, you are special people. You know, you were supposed to be a, a set apart people, a very special people. I mean, you are a special people. And uh, you just give it away. You know, you just, you just, you know, we as so-called black people, we just give, we just give all the goodness away. You know, we try to be an example to others. We try to, we try to, you know, we try to bring that love, that understanding, because there is a lot of love in the black community. You know, there's a lot of love in the black, at least. When I was growing up in the black community, there was a lot of love there, you know. But um man, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate that uh we've given ourselves over, man. It's just it's it's not like I said, you know, we're not that complicated of people, man. And there's so much confusion around us, man. There's so much confusion. It's sort of like when your mother tells you not to put your hand in the cookie jar and, uh, you know, you're a little kid and you just keep putting your hand in the cookie jar and you keep getting that little slap on your hand. <laughs> you know, that's what we keep doing to ourselves, man. We keep trying to and, and they're doing this shit to us again, man. They're doing this to us again. Right now. The so-called black man should be trying to, you know, everything in his power to separate himself from these people. He should be trying to live set apart. You know, and I understand these women got you on the wrong track. They got you going in the wrong direction because you following after them. You know, it's very simple, man. We is given a blueprint to follow. You know. We is given a simple blueprint. We are supposed to be set apart. Now, these other people have lied. These identity thieves have lied and made you believe that they were you. As if the most high is going to see everything they're doing down on this earth. And he's going to take them in, you know, just because they said, Lord, forgive me. You know, and we we believe it. So we start doing what they do. We believe what they say, so we start doing what they do, and then we fail. You know, we, we wonder why we continue to fail at everything we do, man. It's just it's just it's just confusing to watch and listen to, because I hear a lot of black men talking. You know, they're real articulate, they're real smart, they're real educated. I mean, they but they just don't get it. It's not that damn hard. It's not that difficult. You know. Stop trying to, you know, stop letting these people draw you back into their bullshit, man. You see all this shit that's going on around you. You know, you you Negroes are so, so silly and so dumb that you're going to let these people trick you with a bunch of um, you're going to let them trick you with a bunch of. A bunch of symbolic victories. You know, black people love symbolic victories that give them, you know, that leave them in the same exact position. Oh, I got to put my seatbelt on. As I stated, black people love symbolic victories where, where, you know, they knocking down a bunch of statues. You know, they're, they're saying they're, they're watching how they say things, you know, they're watching, you know, they, they, they're being careful, 
you know, they're taking the little the little jabs, you know, the little racist jabs seriously. But it does not put you in any a better position. All it's doing is basically drawing you back into their fuckery where you stay on the bottom. Where you stay on the bottom and you just, you know, you just you just you just remain. You know, you haven't moved an inch. You haven't. They're, they re, they're not talking about paying what they owe. They're not talking about paying what they owe. Everybody is talking about some silly ass shit. They're talking about police brutality. They're talking about, you know, I mean, as if they could put a number on what they owe. But they're not even trying to start paying off that debt. You know, they're not even they're not even trying to begin to pay off that debt. That they owe. And it just really it really does hurt my heart when I see black people going right back into this bullshit. You know, black people hope that everything goes back to normal. We just get over this COVID-19 thing and just go back to being, you know, marginalized, you know, mistreated, miseducated, misinformed. You know, we want to go back to doing that, man. And we want to we want to get right back into bed. With these individuals, with these people, you know, and that's what that's exactly where they want you, because you got to understand you, you, you know, all of you, you know, I don't believe in the most high and all of you, 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 you atheist kinds of people, you know, you know, they, you know, you, you following somebody, you're following somebody, you following, you following these people, you know. You're following them. I mean, I don't I mean, like I said, you were given a you were given a simple you're given some very simple instructions that you're not going to be able to escape. Just face it. Just face that reality. You're not going to be able to circumvent the most high and his rules, laws and standards for his community. And until you embrace that. You know, until we as a group embrace that, we just going to continue to suffer. But I mean, it's already been predicted that most of us are not going to listen and we just going to see more of the same, more black men dying. You know, it's to the point where, you know, black men dying don't mean anything because we so used to seeing it. We don't we don't even want to hear about it no more. Just don't tell us what happened. Don't tell us what happened, you know. Cause we so worn, we so worn down by, uh, you know what's been going on, like what's been happening, man. We're so worn out. We're sick of it, and it just keeps on happening. It just continues to happen, you know. And if black, uh, as I stated in, in other videos, if you the first, the first thing that black men must do if they want to change things don't worry about these women if black men want to change things the first thing they're going to have to do is stop having stupid conversation cut out all the idle chit chat and the idle talking or at least spend the vast majority of your time talking about important things if black men spend the most of their time talking about women uh how fat some woman's ass is um, you know, the football game, the basketball game, the baseball game, the, you know, you know, how good some weed was and the club and, you know, whatever goofy shit that black men are talking about, then y'all going to remain the same, you know, as black men, we got, you know, I understand. I mean, it, it, you know, we let, we dealing with that escapism, but you got to become a serious group of individuals, man. You want others to take you seriously when you always playing. You always joking. You always clowning around. Because, you know, these BAWs, they need entertainment. They need you for entertainment purposes. They want somebody that can make them laugh. And y'all are all too willing to, to run over there. And, you know, she's embraced your enemy's way of life. She's embraced their way of life. 
She believes that that is the way to go, that that is how you're supposed to exist, you know? And, uh, you know, the, the, you know, it just makes me wonder why she wants the bag so bad. What does she want the bag for? What's the purpose of getting the bag? You know, her purpose for getting the bag is, is it is it to is it to uh, build a community center? Is it to build uh, schools where these boys could be educated? Is it to start some businesses in the black community? What, what is the bag? What is the purpose of getting the bag? You know. The only purpose she has for getting the bag is to go out there and spend and waste your money because what's the purpose of having a bag if nobody knows you have it? You know, what's the purpose? I mean, you could get the bag, but if nobody knows your bag, you know, you can't just get the bag. You can't just get the bag. People don't just get the bag. They, I mean, If a black man was a rich black man, but he dressed, he just dressed normal. People just think he's a broke black man. This is why black when black men get money, they're going out and buying all kind of shiny jewelry and clothes and 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 and, and everything except starting some businesses in their communities. Or, you know, just, you know, we got to go back to the foundation, man. What's the foundation of, of a man? The, what he puts into his body and what he puts into his mind. You know, that is the foundation of every man. What goes into his body and what goes into his mind. That is where you start. That is the beginning. That is the foundation of everything. You can't operate you without 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 eating properly. Without the proper energy, you can't operate. You can't build nothing. You don't have the right strength. And black men are in terrible health because of the, the food that they're being fed. You know, mentally and spiritually and physically. So. What's the purpose of the bag? So she can go out there, spend it on Prada, uh, um, you know, um, Prada, um, DKNY. Uh, boss, what, 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 whatever goofy shit she wearing nowadays? Cause I, I'm just not into the, to it. You know, Fendi. Uh, whatever. I mean, I mean that's that. Uh, it's a shame, man. It's a shame that at the end of the day, black men can know all of these things, but they're they're subject to a female's whims. They're subject to a female's whims. I mean, who are you following? Who are you worshiping? You know, who do you worship? Who do you worship the most high? Because the most high told you to lead. He told you to rule. So if you're not ruling, then I mean, I, I got to act. If you if you sub if you are submitting or subjecting yourself to to the nature of, of a female, in this society, which is which is not a patriarchy, well, it's a patriarchy, but it's also a matriarchy. You know, only only the top elite men get to practice patriarchy in this society. The rest of y'all living in the matriarchy. That's you know that's 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 what you're living in, and unfortunately, black men subject themselves to everything that these people want them to do and whatever the most high tell them to do oh that doesn't matter you know i'm not going to do that i mean you know i can't do that that's wrong it's wrong to do what the most high tells you to do it's mean to do what the most high you 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 can't act like that you can't be like that that's wrong that's mean i mean this this is the these are, this is the uh, rhetoric that you're going to receive from these parasites when you try to stand up for truth, when you try to do what's right, when you try to do what the most high asks you to do. You know, and because you don't have you because you won't start doing it, your sons will never do it. I mean, hopefully, maybe your sons will do it, but who knows? I doubt it. 
That's if you're even in the picture. You know, these women are so wicked and so demonic that a lot of men don't even want anything to do with their own children. You know, because they know they got to deal with a wicked ass demon, a demonic individual in order to even have. They got to they got to acquiesce. They got to submit. They got to do. They got to jump through all these weird hoops just to have a relationship with their own children. You know. As I stated, as men, we got to cut out all the idle conversations, but that's not going to stop. That's not going to stop. Men are going to continue. I mean, look at look at look at look at look at the look at the devolvement of of the black manosphere as we know it. Look at the look at how it's devolved. <laughs> it's just devolved, you know. You know, I mean, man, I mean, I don't un- I don't get it because it's not even that hard. It's not even that hard, man. You were given a blueprint. It's I mean, it's it's it, I mean, you were given a tremendous amount of power. Do you think the most high was going to tell you to to rule and not give you instructions on how to do so? <laughs> you know, that's insane. But you were given a blueprint. You were given a blueprint and you refused to follow it. As a group. And then you turn around and you wonder why you find yourselves in these situations. And then you see your people. You see your people going right back down this road with these people again. You know, they're, you know, symbolic, symbolic victories with no tangibles. <laughs> Symbolic. Oh, we tore down this statue. We tore down. We, we, we got rid of the Columbus statue. We, you know, we tearing down these Confederate monuments and and, you know, people can no longer use the word nigger blatantly. I mean, I mean, that's I mean, that's what black people call victory. And then they go back to work for these people. They continue to spend, you know, these people, all these companies coming out the woodwork. Talking about we with the we with the Black Lives Matter. We with black people. We we with we with the we with the community. We with the community. And then they go back to doing exactly what they've been doing. And if you think that's any anything's changed, tell them to put their money where their mouth is. You know, let me see that cash. You know, make it rain. <laughs> Anything else, I don't want to hear. And back off. Pay what you owe and back off. Don't tell no don't tell no black man. We probably already know that the average black person going to get that money right back to these people within a month. You know, but don't I mean that's of no no concern of yours what a black man spends his money on. It's not it's not as it's not it's not as if black men got to ask any questions. When, you know, when y'all was profiteering off of our labor, we didn't get to ask you what you was doing with that money. Was you using that money for prostitutes? Was you using that money for, uh, you know, for whoredoms? Was you using that money for, um, you know, to, to, uh, to, um, to buy, you know, buy a new fancy car or horse and carriage or whatever it is or whatever time period it was you know no one got to ask anybody else what they were doing with the money that they that they quote unquote earned in america you know the biggest the biggest problem with america is that it doesn't want to face what if it, what it's done it doesn't want to face it it wants to sweep it under the rug you know Everything is supposed to be based on equitable, you know, even exchanged, even an even exchange. I give you something for something else. But when it comes to paying what they owe, oh, we don't want to talk about it. That was in the past. Y'all need to forget about that. I'm not doing anything for, for I'm not paying anything for um for people. I mean, I'm not paying for what people did 300 years ago. I'm not paying for that today. As if it was coming out of your pocket. See, it's funny that 
you know, they want to they want to talk about these monuments. They want they want to keep their monuments and fight over their uh, their monuments. But but, you know, when it comes to paying for what those people did, oh, I don't want we don't want to pay for what they did. We want to keep their monuments, though. You know, we don't want to pay for what those people did. I'm not paying for. And that, isn't that what Joe isn't that what Joe Biden said? I'm not paying for what people did 300 years ago. And you see all these fake ass black, these black lead, these, I mean, I don't, why do you even, why do we even call them black leaders? They're not leading anything. They're leading you back into being slaughtered. They're leading you back to the slaughter. All of my little sheep get back in the pen. The, the sheep's done escaped the pen. We got to get them back in. You see, all of these fake ass black uh, celebrities out here calling, um, out here talking about, yeah, we with the black people and it's a shame what they did to George Floyd and y'all need to vote. Y'all need to vote. See, that's the problem. Y'all ain't voting. I mean, how, I mean, what, 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 did, what did we been voting for? How many years? How, how many years have black people been voting and what have they ever received in return? But, but your so-called black leadership class, misleadership class, all they can say is vote. Go. I mean, yeah, it's real messed up what happened to George Floyd. And if you want anything to change, go vote. No one's talking about paying what they owe. So this is how they're trying to deceive you and trying to get you right back into the same pot of stew of shit that you just that you just came out of. What you should be doing, what we should be doing as a group or as a people is separating ourselves from these people at all costs. Not trying to go back into a pot. America is not real. It's not real. It's not a real thing. It's not reality. You know, I mean, I don't get these people. A lot of these people don't even actually benefit off of white supremacy. <laughs> they don't actually benefit from it, but they but they'll stand up and fight for some fucking some 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 losers. Some some Confederate generals that lost the war. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I understand. I never understood a society who loves losers so much, you know. But see, again, again, they don't want to pay what they owe. You know, they love their monuments. They want to save their monuments. They're not racist. They're not racist. But don't touch our our monuments. That's history. We got to keep up our history. Why? They're losers. You want to keep a bunch of hit. You want to you, you, you know, I thought history was written by the by the winners. <laughs> you know, I thought history was written by the winners. But in this society, they seem to want to keep a bunch of losers around. You know, but black people are out here acting like they're they're winning. They're winning something. They're getting something done. Dumbass Negroes. Go back to work for these people. On that note, I want to say peace. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you think. Get on the five steps. And adopt the moral code, man. It's just a shame that... My people perish for lack of knowledge.